Hello and welcome to UCB Today, our regular roundup of UCB stories. Let's begin with news of a new partnership between UCB and scientists at Baylor College of Medicine in Texas. Together, our research teams are working to unlock the secrets of neurodegenerative diseases in the search for new treatments. This collaborative research brings together Baylor's world-leading capabilities in functional genetics with UCB's expertise in drug development. The Research Alliance is the latest example of how UCB is harnessing the power of super networks in the fight against diseases of the brain. We are proud of our contribution to medical science, especially in neurology and immunology. But we also know that we need to work with others if we are to find new solutions to complex problems. Read more about our partnership with Baylor and other academic teams on UCB.com. Sticking with the theme of collaboration, another exciting story we brought to you put the spotlight on research at King's College in London. This project is exploring the potential of immunotherapy research to help people with type 1 diabetes. Regular readers of UCB.com will know that UCB is committed to addressing the unmet needs of patients suffering from severe diseases. Our expertise in immunology has led us to start research into type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is a huge issue for the modern world, but many people do not realize it's an inflammatory condition caused by an autoimmune reaction to a person's own organs, in this case the pancreas. In type 1 diabetes, the immune system kills the cells that make insulin. The collaboration with King's College involves testing a potential new therapy that could slow down the destruction of the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. This kind of immunotherapy is sometimes referred to as therapeutic vaccine. When we think of vaccines, we usually think of prevention. For example, they prevent us from catching infectious diseases that can be caused by viruses or bacteria. The hope is that the person receiving this treatment will not deteriorate further and thus avoid or delay long-term complications such as deterioration in kidney function or eyesight. While it's still early days, we are hugely excited about this collaboration. It demonstrates our willingness to work with partners to solve some of the biggest health challenges facing the world. And it keeps us on the cutting edge of immunology. Stay tuned to UCB.com for developments in this fast-moving field. Some readers of UCB.com may recall a story we posted last year about the Hack Epilepsy Initiative. The project brought together developers, designers and digital experts, along with healthcare providers and patients, to imagine new ways of applying digital technologies that can make a real difference for the epilepsy community. These hackathon events delivered 17 concept prototypes in a range of areas, such as accessing reliable information and knowing what questions to ask following diagnoses. The great news is that the Hack Epilepsy Project won the Customer Innovator Award at the IFO Pharma Awards 2016 in Barcelona. It was great to see our colleagues walk away with the prize and we were also delighted that three of the five finalists in this category were UCB projects. To be recognized as a leader in patient-centric innovation inspires us to continue working with others to find original ways to add value for patients. And the good news does not end there. Hack Epilepsy was not the only UCB project to be honored at the Eye for Pharma meeting. An innovative initiative designed to bring epilepsy care closer to patients picked up the prize for most valuable pharma collaboration. The collaborative project saw UCB work closely with two other pharmaceutical companies, Epilepsy Scotland and the Health Service in Scotland. The project supported epilepsy education and training for doctors, nurses and staff working with people with learning disabilities. It also helped Epilepsy Scotland to provide specialist epilepsy nursing services to patients three days a week for three years. More than 1,200 people in the area benefited from the project, which demonstrates a new model for epilepsy care. Crucially, it shows that patients can benefit from specialist care without having to travel long distances for routine hospital visits. Another great example of how collaboration can make a meaningful difference in the lives of patients with severe diseases. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check ucb.com for all the latest stories. Thank you.